Hey! All right, I am going to get so fired up about this topic because this is something I hear all the time from the girls and from the parents of the girls and the coaches is playing afraid, okay? Playing scared, playing afraid because you don't want to let down your coaches, you don't want to let down your, your teammates, you don't want to let down your parents, you don't want to let down yourself, so you play afraid. You play with this fear, this, this fear of messing up or um, being embarrassed or not doing it right. And we play, we play scared, we play afraid, we play, we're, um, af we're afraid to fail, we're afraid to lose, um, and we're afraid of falling short. Okay, so this, I, this was me. I totally did this. All right. I, I was afraid to make mistakes in practice. Practice. This is where you're supposed to make the mistakes. But for some reason, I had it drilled into my head that I had to be perfect and I had to make every single play. And even if I failed at practice, like, people were gonna think differently of me or they, they, I wasn't gonna make the roster or I wasn't going to make the lineup that, that next weekend. All because I made a stupid mistake at practice, okay? And that is not true. I am here to tell you this is not true. So all the girls, all of you girls that are feeling this pressure, this, this being afraid to fail because you don't want to let down your parents, you don't want to let down your coach, you don't want to let down your team, your dreams, your goals, everything. Like we have to start changing the way that you're thinking about that and changing your mindset. And for parents, I know you guys have, your daughters are feeling like this, this sense of being afraid, this, this fear of failure. Okay, so I can't talk about it enough. So, um, I, we are like, no more. We are going to play for us. We are going to play for ourselves because in my senior year of my college season, I started to finally play for me. I started to play to enjoy the game, to love the game, to have fun again. And it was a huge turnaround for me. When I embraced that, that concept of playing for myself, and leaving it all out there and and not worried about the results on the field or my statistics or whatever the anything that happens that's out of your control when i finally let that go that is when the magic happened okay so i'm here to give you how to do that because that it's much easier said than done right Okay, so what we are going to do, and this is going to be really easy, it's going to be really simple, and you can start doing it right after you watch this video, okay? And it's visualizing your best self, visualizing the best version of you. It's going to be visualizing, like literally seeing yourself, so like me seeing Paige as my, my most confident, my most powerful version of myself. Okay, so I'm actually going to explain a little bit more on how to do this. So I want you to like close your eyes, it's gonna be awkward, it's going to feel weird, and what you're going to do is you're going to visualize yourself. And I want you to just see, just tell yourself, like see, I want you to think in your head and imagine like you out there, okay, so whatever your name is, um, Sally or Patricia, I don't know. So see little Betty out there and I want you to be like, see yourself like standing up tall and I want you to see your you walking up to the plate with confidence. I want you to see like this most strong, powerful, beautiful version of yourself. I want you to see exactly how you want to show up for games, for practices, for life, for school, okay? So you are going to see yourself as this most amazing version of you, okay? And I want you to do that over and over and over again. I want you to practice it. I want you to do that repeat a hundred times more because the more that you see yourself, this version of you, the what you think, what you say, what you see is what you are going to believe. 
okay? Because the more that you see yourself as this confident, powerful, play for yourself, go-getter, uh, gold digger <laughs> version of you, that is how you are, what, that is what you're going to believe and that's how you are going to show up on that field, on that court, on, for test day, for a presentation. See your most confident version, best self of you, version of you, okay? Um, when you start showing up for yourself, when you start playing for you, when you let go of the results and the things that you can't control, you are going, the, the results are going to fall into place. The hits are going to come. The, the amazing diving catches are going to come. The, um, you know, diving plays out on the volleyball court are going to come. You're going to make that game winning shot. Those things are going to fall into place when you start showing up for you and you visualize the best version of you, that the one that you want to show up as, okay? So um, make sure you, or also, I have, um, I have some visualization practices uh, as free downloads on my, on my website at pagetons.com slash free. So if you need those as a little bit of direction or just watch this video again. Um, but once you get off this, I want you to visualize your, the best version of you, how you want to show up. Because I know what the best version of Paige and most confident, powerful, amazing, awesome, talented, all the things page, um, I know what that looks like. I know what that see that feels like because I have visualized her over and over again. Okay, so I am so excited for you to go be the best version of you, to see the most best version of you, and then let those results fall into place and play for you, play to have fun, enjoy it, love it, and just like wrap your arms around everything. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.